And this is the way that our body encourages us to heal, encourages us to do the deep inner work, encourages us to look below the surface and see our symptoms as portals of healing as messengers to the truth of why we feel the way we feel hello and welcome to sink and flow the podcast with me your host josie thorne i am a red tent woman circle facilitator a womb healer and feminine empowerment coach I have been guiding women to embody their true essence through womb activations and feminine embodiment practices. I started Sink and Flow to help educate and connect women back to the wisdom of their sacred womb space and cyclical nature. I want to help all women reawaken to the true power of the feminine that lives deep within them so that they may cultivate a relationship to self that is rooted in pure trust, divine love, and a deeply intuitive connection to the body. Thank you for being here and taking the time to listen to this podcast episode. I hope you enjoy. Hello beautiful soul and welcome back to Sink and Flow the podcast. I'm so excited to have you here. If this is your first time listening to the podcast, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for taking a chance. And if you are a regular listener, even more love and blessings to you. Thank you for coming back and for choosing Sing and Flow the podcast to occupy your time wherever you are in the world right now, whatever you are doing. I would please love to ask you, whatever platform you are listening on, please can you leave a rating and review. It helps me so, so much. It helps this podcast reach those of you around the world who need this information this podcast is one of my gifts i do it free of charge i pay for all of the subscriptions out of my own pocket and the most you can do in exchange for me would be to write a five star review and to share this podcast and your favorite episodes with your friends and family. If you write a review and you send me a screenshot on Instagram at Josie underscore Thorn or at sync underscore in underscore flow my links are in the description below and you send me a screenshot of your review i will send you my womb healing ebook for free that is currently on my website shop for eight euro so please 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 i would love it if you could take the time to leave a review and to send this podcast to anyone who you think would benefit from this information let's make womb healing mainstream let's make healing our trauma and addressing our emotional and mental blocks mainstream my life has completely transformed 180 degrees through this work and through healing my womb and my relationship to my feminine energy on the deepest level possible and this is healing Uh, and life-changing experiences that I want for every single woman and human on this planet. So please, please, please help me support this mission, help support this mission, and I will gladly send you a little gift to say thank you. So I hope you enjoy this episode. It is a nice and short and sweet one, and I will see you in the next one. All my love. This is a public service announcement. We have to stop normalizing feeling shitty on our periods. Full stop. Period. The end. We have to stop normalizing it. I did an episode where I spoke about PMS. PMS is an initiation and PMS is not normal, it's just common. Feeling shitty on your period is not normal, it's just common. 
having cramps and pain on your period is not normal it's just common and so we have to differentiate between what is normal and what is common okay whatever is common is what people experience again and again and again and they normalize it and therefore it becomes normalized in our societal culture but what is common is not normal and what is normal is not common Okay, and so we have to create this differentiation that feeling shitty on your period is not normal. It is just common feeling shitty in your luteal phase the week before your period and experiencing PMS and intense mood swings is not normal. It is just common, but because so many women have this experience we have made it become normalized we have made it seem normal it has been normalized by the societal culture at large and so this is not to say that you know you never are allowed to feel sad or you know anxious or depressed or low or vulnerable on your period no like feeling the rise and fall of the emotional wave you know experiencing the highs and the lows that is normal it is normal to ride the emotional wave as a woman we are multi-dimensional creatures and experiencing the highs and the lows is what makes us be a multidimensional creature is what makes us experience the beauty and the variety of life, right? But feeling shitty every single period, that's not normal. Feeling emotional every single period, that's not normal. Feeling, having crazy anxiety and depression and mood swings and bitchiness in your PMS luteal phase, that is not normal. And so this is why I am trying to bring this information to you guys because it's so important that we stop normalizing these symptoms and start to see them for what they are. Symptoms which are messengers from the body. Symptoms are messengers from the body that something is out of alignment. Something is not right. There is a deeper root cause below the surface. And usually it is a psychosomatic cause. Usually it is in relation to a mental, emotional or energetic health misalignment there is something below the surface that you are not paying attention to and so the only way for your body to get you to pay attention to this deeper cause this deeper reason as to why you're feeling the way you are is through the symptoms of the moodiness the pms the mood swings the pain the cramps the feeling shitty, okay? These symptoms are a signifier that there is something that you have not addressed, something that you have not healed, something that you are not paying attention to. And so my job as a womb healer is to help you do the necessary digging the necessary excavating of your subconscious of your psyche to do the shadow work to figure out what it is that is living below the surface that you are ignoring or subconsciously suppressing or are not able to face because you do not have the emotional mental tools to be able to process it whatever it is it could have been a trauma from 10 years ago that you didn't even know was still living inside of you it could have been last 
months when you know you had a fight with your mom and you just brushed it aside and you never integrated it and you know processed it it could be um a fight you had six months ago with your best friend it could be a misalignment that you have no idea that's even there okay and so these symptoms and uh yeah pain and whatever you are experiencing is a messenger from your psyche from your soul that there's something that needs to be addressed and so this is why i am here to tell you that it is not normal to feel shitty it is not normal to be experiencing pain and crazy mood swings on your period and in your luteal phase okay i personally experience such pleasant and enjoyable menstrual cycles i cannot tell you after doing this work for four years now i honestly have the most enjoyable pleasant experiences in my menstrual cycle and in my luteal phase and throughout my entire cycle you know um the other day I posted on my Instagram stories a video of me dancing around my kitchen going crazy being so hyper so energized so in my body so connected to myself connected to my joy connected to my pleasure and that was on me on day 27 of my period. Day 27 is like pretty much the last day before you're about to bleed. Most women start their periods around day 28, 29, day 30. I always start around day 28. And yeah, this was the last day of my luteal phase. And I was feeling so happy, so excited, so high on life. And this is truly an experience that I want for every single woman is to enjoy her luteal phase, is to enjoy her menstrual cycle, is to enjoy her entire life as being a woman because there is so much happiness and joy and bliss that we are not able to tap into because of these energetic emotional and mental blocks because of the unprocessed trauma and emotions that is living in our body and in our womb and in our heart that we have not processed and so they will come out again and again and again throughout our cycle and this is the body's divine intelligence okay we have to start to see these symptoms as an intelligence because it is we have a body intelligence we have a somatic intelligence and this is the way that our body encourages us to heal encourages us to do the deep inner work encourages us to look below the surface and see our symptoms as portals of healing as messengers to the truth of why we feel the way we feel it's not just oh i feel shitty and that's just it no there is always a deeper reason there is always a deeper understanding as to why do you feel the way you feel and so it is up to us as the experts of our own mind our own body and our own emotions and our own lives to do that detective work of looking below the surface of um, reviewing and reflecting on our lives on the past and seeing okay maybe the symptom is as a result of xyz that i went through a month ago two months ago three months ago six months ago ten years ago so many of us have trauma living in our bodies from 10 to 15 years ago. And I'm not just exaggerating. This is a fact. So many of us still have childhood trauma living in our psyches that we have not processed. Because either we do not want to and therefore we just suppress it. We ignore it. We tell ourselves that it doesn't exist. But that unfortunately doesn't really solve anything because it just quantum 
it just quantifies and adds up and creates this snowball effect that gets worse and worse and worse and worse over time. And that's when we start to see physical ailments, physical symptoms such as pain, right? Such as anxiety. All of these things that we experience on a physical level, that is the body's way of screaming at it, at us because the nervous system can no longer store, can no longer hold, can no longer suppress what is living in the body, what is living in the psyche. And so when things present themselves on a physical level, it is the last point of call that the uh, symptom will show. First, it will start as an energetic symptom. Then it will start as a, then it will go to an uh, emotional symptom. Then it will go to a mental symptom. And then it will go to a physical symptom. And so when physical symptoms arise, it is the last level that a problem presents itself. The problem has been there the whole time, but we have not developed the self-awareness necessary to acknowledge the problem, to acknowledge the pain, to acknowledge the block before it becomes physically manifested. And so often when something is physically manifested, it has been a part of our lives for a long time. We just not haven't had the tools to acknowledge, to deepen in our self-awareness of, okay, there is this block, let me address it before it starts to become a physical problem, a physical illness, a physical ailment, right? And so this work that I do with my clients is around teaching you how to develop a deep, deep, deep relationship with your mind, body and soul so that you can acknowledge and pick up on these blocks and issues as they come up, when they come up, rather than letting them fester and get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until you end up in hospital or in the doctor's office because suddenly this problem is now so overwhelming. You cannot sleep at night because your anxiety is so bad because your stomach is so tight and tense and knotted and this is really truly what happens I had someone reach out to me the other day saying that she experiences so much anxiety so much pain that she literally wakes up every single night like every single hour because her stomach is in so much pain and so much knots and this is literally a physical result as a result of a nervous system that is overproducing cortisol it is not just some woo woo oh this is just there and it's just happening no like this happens when I say on a mental level when I say on an emotional level like I'm talking about the nervous system this is the parasympathetic versus sympathetic nervous system the parasympathetic nervous system being the rest and digest the sympathetic nervous system being the fight or flight trauma response nervous system and when the trauma response nervous system is activated because we have unprocessed trauma unprocessed emotional blocks living in our body this system will stay on high alert okay because the body the body doesn't understand time. If there is trauma still living in your body, the body thinks that this trauma is happening again and again and again and again and again. So it it releases micro amounts of cortisol all the fucking time. And so your baseline of stress is much higher. Your baseline of cortisol is much higher. And so then when you do actually go through something minor in your present day life it starts to create this snowball effect because your baseline is so much higher than it would be if you had healed all that stuff from your past and so the things that happen to you in the present the stresses at work the fight with your partner the fight with your mom it triggers something so much bigger below the surface because there is so much below the surface that you haven't acknowledged, that you haven't um, 
acknowledged and witnessed and done the necessary shadow and healing work around. You haven't processed it because on a mental level, on a surface level, you do not have the tools, right? And so this is really what it is my job as a womb healer and a shadow worker to help you do is to uncover what is living below the surface so that you can reduce your cortisol, so that you can reduce your daily experience of stress, so that you can be more relaxed, so that you can be more present, so that you can be more centered in your body. Overthinking is also a massive, massive symptom of unprocessed trauma. Anything to do with the mind, anxiety, depression, PTSD, overthinking, um, insomnia, all of these things, these mental disorders are symptoms of unprocessed trauma, are symptoms of unprocessed emotional baggage, most likely from your childhood okay and so this is why I say we need to stop normalizing these symptoms whatever it is whether it's anxiety whether it's depression whether it's period pain whether it's cramps whether it's uh, mood swings whether it's feeling shitty we need to stop normalizing it because it's not normal pain-free periods are the norm this is what I experience um, no PMS is the norm. This is what I experience. Okay. This is the normal way. And so if you are listening to this and you are thinking, wow, like I really need to address all of this below the surface stuff, but I have nowhere to start. Please send me a DM please, 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 I can help you start to uncover because unfortunately we are blind to our own shadows. We are blind to our own blocks. And so that's why working with a coach like me is so useful because the coach is trained and has the intuitive sense as to what is going on below the surface. And so my group coaching container, Liberated Womb, we start in 13 days on the 30th of October. It is a six-week group coaching experience. I would love to have you a part of it. The woman coming together for this round is going to be so incredible. I have so many amazing testimonials from the first round. I am having, um, there are two IG lives and a third one is going to be recorded today of women who went through the first round and had unbelievable results and experiences. So please go watch those on my Instagram feed or on my YouTube channel. And my DMs are always open if you have any questions. There are also extensive payment plans available I think the longest one is five months so money should not be an issue there are payment plans and I'm always happy to work out something personal if you need an extended extended payment plan so please please reach out to me my DMs are always open and I would absolutely love to have you a part of Liberated Womb, my six-week signature program where we address all of the above. Period problems, sexual blocks, emotional blocks, mental health challenges, disconnections from our body, disassociation, feminine energy, you know, not feeling safe, all of these things. Please reach out. Sending so much love from my heart to yours. I'll see you soon. Mwah. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this episode and engage with all the wisdom that was shared. If you enjoyed this podcast, please remember to leave a review on your podcast platform of choice as this really helps this wisdom reach new people. If you have any questions or queries, please feel free to reach out to me via Instagram DM or send me an email. 
You can follow me on my personal account on Instagram at Josie, J-O-S-I-E underscore Thorn, T-H-O-R-N-E. Or you can follow Sync and Flow, my business accounts at Sync, that's spelled S-Y-N-C underscore N underscore Flow. Please feel free to reach out with any questions or queries you may have. Otherwise, get in contact to book a free discovery call to start your self-healing spiritual journey today. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now, loves.